Hi, I'm Dr. Nizam. In this video, we'll be talking about issuing the removal appliance. Good communication and soft skills are essential elements before delivering any dental treatment. Greet the patient and parent if present, welcoming him or her into the room with a handshake or a hand gesture. Remember to acknowledge and address the patient by his or her name. This is to assure whom you're speaking to and also build a good rapport with the patient. When having children or adolescents as patients, it is always important to have the parent or guardian around as to understand the treatment plan and also be involved in monitoring the child's use of the appliance. Explain to the patient the objectives or what is going to happen in today's visit. The purpose of today's visit is to firstly explain to the patient the appliance and the treatment plan. Secondly, to ensure a proper fit of the brace and patient comfort. And lastly, to give patient instructions on how to wear and take care of the appliance. When explaining your treatment plan, communicate in the simplest words and remember to avoid jargons. Here are a few examples of common jargons and its alternative layman terms. Now let's talk to the patient about parts of the appliance and how it works. The removable appliance or plate consists of metal wires held together by a plastic base. The Adams clasp or also called metal clasp for patients' easier understanding, helps retain or hold the appliance in patient's mouth. The labial bow, or in simpler terms, the front metal bar, is a retentive and active wire component which crosses the labial surface from canine to canine. The front metal bar helps hold the plate in the mouth and also bring back forwardly placed teeth. The metal U-loop of the labial bow can be squeezed or compressed to bring about tooth movement or improve retention of the appliance. The finger spring is an active wire component which brings about tooth movement when activated at its helical loop and arm. Briefly describe to the patient what tooth movements are to be expected and also remind him or her that the appliance will only work if the patient wears it as instructed. When fitting the upper removable appliance, the clinician should be standing from behind the patient during insertion. And fitting in the lower removable appliance, the clinician should be standing in front of the patient during insertion. The appliance is seated in the upper arch and pressed upwards towards the palate at the center of the acrylic base plate until the appliance snugly fits. Or sometimes this can be appreciated by a sound of a click, something like this. The click sound is a good sign of retention attributed by the grasping of the arrowheads of the Adams clasp at the undercuts of the molars. Also, take note that the labial bow should be in contact with the front teeth at the middle third of the labial surface. Make sure that the wire components are seated properly and the appliance is not held loose. There should not be any interocclusal interferences from the wire components. Also, check if patient is comfortable, making sure there is nothing pricking or sharp from the appliance. From the occlusal aspect, ensure that all wire components are seated nicely at the dental embrasures and nothing is hindering interocclusally. Excess acrylic on the palatal aspect of the anterior teeth should be removed to allow movement of the front teeth if required. Once again, Ask the patient whether he or she is comfortable and that nothing is sharp or pricking in the mouth. Necessary adjustments 
are made to the wire components if required, as to ensure a good fit and retention of the appliance. Activation of the appliance is usually done in the second appointment visit of the patient. Now here's the patient instruction checklist consisting of eight points which anyone should not be left out and all explained to the patient. First and foremost, how to wear the removable appliance. Ask the patient to hold a mirror in front of him or her as you demonstrate and explain how to wear and remove the removable appliance. Then, hold a mirror in front of the patient and ask the patient to try wearing the appliance, making sure he or she is doing it in the right way. The appliance is seated and pressed at the center of the plastic base. The labial bow should also be at the middle third of the front teeth surface. Again, the mirror is held in front of the patient and the patient is instructed how to remove the appliance correctly. Instruct the patient to remove the plate by pulling the metal clip at the back tooth downwards. Remind the patient to not remove the appliance from the front, as that may lead to distortion of the front metal bar. How long to wear the appliance in a day? Instruct the patient to wear the removable appliance at all times, including time of meals. Eating will be easier with time, and remind the patient to avoid eating hard, sticky, chewy food and drinking fizzy drinks. Instruct the patient to not wear the appliance during times of contact sports as to avoid any injury. Avoid swimming with the brace as it may easily dislodge when swimming. Patients should also be advised not to wear the brace when playing any wind instrument such as the flute, trumpet or saxophone. This is because patient may not be able to play the instrument when the appliance is worn. Describe to the patient what to expect initially. Patient may experience some soreness and discomfort for the first three to seven days. Advise the patient to not stop wearing the removable appliance or he or she will have a further three to five days of discomfort when the appliance is worn again. Patient may also have a slight lisp or speak differently initially. Advise the patient to practice speaking with the removable appliance on by reading aloud at home. Patient's speech should return to normal within a few days. In addition, patient may also experience increased saliva and having to swallow more than normal. This will improve and return to normal within a few days. Remind the patient again that with regular use of the plate, this will all improve in a few days to a week, depending on individual. It is important that hygiene is maintained. Advise the patient to routinely brush his or her teeth for at least three minutes twice daily with the appliance taken off. After brushing teeth, rinse the brace under tap water and gently brush it with a toothbrush, taking care not to damage the wires. Avoid the use of detergents, bleach, toothpaste, soap and any dishwashing liquid. Also remind the patient to clean the appliance after every meal. When the appliance is not in use, advise the patient to keep it safe in a protective box. Warn the patient to not keep it in a lump of tissue which may be easily misplaced. 
Also, keep away from pet dogs, avoiding it being broken as dogs have a high tendency to chew the appliance. If the appliance is lost or broken, advise the patient to keep the brace safely in a protective box and call the orthodontist or clinic to make an appointment at the soonest possible time. For further information on removable appliance, patient may visit www.myhealth.gov.my slash removable dash appliance. A guideline by the Ministry of Health Malaysia. Also, share a pamphlet copy of the patient's guidelines by the Faculty of Dentistry, UIT. A digital copy of this pamphlet is available on the UITM MOOCs program. Remind the patient that he or she will have to come for monthly appointments to get her teeth checked and appliance adjusted. Duration of treatment may go up to 6 to 12 months. Finally, we have come to the end of this video guide to issue a removable appliance. Thank you and all the best in clinics.